don't forget, hit subscribe, hit like, share it with a friend, hook your boy up. All right, here we go. What's up, guys and girls? B2. Hey, look, I haven't done a video in quite some time, so uh, gonna get in here, talk about uh, time travel, talk about the horse uh event that's going on and just talk about the game in general so uh so here we go we're gonna give you a quick run through and uh, i'm sitting on uh time travel 82 uh level 29 uh ranked 16th in the game and i think there's one person greenish that is off the list i think he's probably like 95 100 somewhere in there so eventually we keep to um if we keep advancing and make the most of this horse event we could probably pick up 85 ish somewhere in there um, Alex S, E W Duds, our beast, they they're just crushing. Walk me down from behind, past me, and I'm super active. Like I try to get my three dungeons a day, rarely miss it, and then I get you know standard four on the weekends. If I time it right, five on a Saturday with the two votes. But you know these guys are just um, they're hammering it, man. Mad respect to those guys. So so that's your top uh, 15 here. Uh, Rebon continuing to go. Panda looks like he's just slowed at 130. Um, who else? Uh, Fiery Marty's not advancing as fast as he was. He did come back alive a little bit. Um, Jordy at 110, area 14, has just slowed. So there's a couple of opportunities if these guys stay inactive for others to, to jump. Um, Vein Slayer active, Bojaga active, EW Dubs, Alex, myself, all active. So if you're chasing us, uh, good luck. Um, you could probably catch me out of all these people up here. There's only a couple I think are less active than me. Let me see. Uh, RPG Top Global Coins. This should be pretty ridiculous. Yep. So uh, 9 Trilly from Gamble is good. Resi still up there. Uh, most people chose to um, use the coins to level up stuff um, and to buy. Really only need to get to about three to 500 billion to, to hit most of your duels. You know, chasing those is kind of weird. I did want to point out this though. If I do RPG Top Worker, uh, once you ascend, this should be the utmost important thing that you're leveling and spending on. And you can see, look here, to get on this, you have to be at a 108. That's just a, a huge level on there, right? So so, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, that, that's going to be a pretty good one to get. Let me go ahead and uh, do my little things here. So you're going to see uh, on Dynamite, getting 55 rubies. Super nice. I know people are going to go, oh my god, B2, you're getting so many. But in reality, that's that's not a lot. Some of those guys at the top, if they're 50 levels ahead of me, they're getting 105 rubies. Uh, sometimes a little bit more. Uh, level that worker up though, as you as you hit this and it and it gets the little um, that little secondary farm that happens. So when you hit the rubies, it's it's uh, logs, and I can get another 230 super logs when when it hits. And leveling that 105 up is going to create that where it happens more and more and more. That's extremely important when you're farming uh, the early, le earlier levels, right? So um, take you a walk around on the guild. The guild is level 421. Um, we are getting an 842% um, uh, boost to duels, which is good. I think my highest right now is 42, I think 42 or 43 levels. Um, so I don't have to use it as much to get, you know, more and more leveled up. Um, I am doing something cool this time though. If you look, I'm going to keep my basic gear right here. You can see it's basic. I've got it enchanted to a mega. Um, I can still one shot level one or area one dungeon one. Uh, I'm going to see how far I can go on the basic gear, uh, since I can carry pretty much anything right now. Um, anything that I would need to do, meaning D1 and D2, I believe. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I could always stop and get the coin stuff, but I'm going to take that and use it on my inventory uh, to boost up the number of fish I have and see what that looks like in logs kind of end game. I know that if I get to about 3,000 rubies um, farming in the first couple of, uh, of levels before I finish D3, I can usually end up at about 40 to 42 million logs. So I wanted to check out the difference on that. That all matters because that's going to go towards your worker as you convert to banana pickaxes, right? So uh, if you look on here, super expensive to get them. Like this is what you're looking at. Um, you're looking at getting 100 uh, worker XP per. Uh, I can usually craft about, I don't know, 2,000 of them or so. So you're going to get up with 200,000 XP. And then, of course, when you... Uh, type RPG PR worker. It's going to give you how what your levels are, right? So, so I would need another two million, which is about ten time travels to get from 105 to 106.
But again, the more you farm early, the better off you're going to be after Ascended. Keep working that worker skill. Uh, I'll show you where the rest of mine are at. Crafter levels by itself. Loot Boxer levels by itself. Merchant levels by itself, although it's pretty stagnant. And Enchanter, you're going to be enchanting um, your basic gear to win the first duel. You're going to enchant your coin, armor, and sword to win your next duel. And you're going to enchant your edgy um, so that you can, once you forge, it keeps that enchant. Now, I know at lower levels, you're you're creating and crafting some of that gear in between, like the ruby sword and that sort of stuff. Um, so, so it's level specific, you know, uh, as far as your time travel. So use what is is for your level and enchant that that enchanter thing will go up so don't worry uh, but let's talk about the horse event um pretty cool that uh, these are all i mean it's a really cool one uh to get the level 10 horse i do not have the level 10 horse yet i've got like 106 fails going towards it so uh it, you know there we go see the uh proct event at 164 super logs is a result of your worker level getting up there so anyway horse training so what happens is there's a couple things you want to do on the horse event um it, you want to do an rpg hf and then quest to start it off right so so you want to take a look because this is what's going to be now you still have a week left at this point you can still get a lot of these things uh, but you do want to complete the armor right here so you can see it's crafted and completed you want to complete the task rewards um, do 20 tasks and you want to enter into 20 races right so so don't sleep on those get those done this right here is going to be your friend i mean you get 10 of these already and then you're going to be able to buy, so let's uh, do OWO math because I don't want to do it in my head, 2650 divided by, I think it's, let's just do 75. Um, you're going to come back, you're going to get another 35 Sleepy Potions by completing that quest. That means you can skip 35 dungeons plus the 10 you got from the reward. You'll be able to skip 45 dungeons. Now, you know, you, you probably won't skip the ones that you're farming dragon scales. It's a little bit tougher to get all those farmed. No, no real way around it. But with the level 10 horse getting, you know, two, three dragon scales a pop, it's going to make life a lot easier. You'll be able to skip some of these dungeons, especially without having to sell your mats for dragon scales. So if you get too close, you're in dungeon 15, sell your zombie eyes, your mermaid hairs, all that stuff that converts to dragon scales. And you'll be able to get to that level a little faster. Yeah, but a huge, huge amount of this on the horse, horse event, right? So uh, you'll come back in here and uh, there is, uh, I believe, recipes. Uh, uh, yeah, if I could, I was like, why isn't it going? Probably because I cannot spell today. There we go. So so you want to melt down 25, uh, 21 steel and four gold that creates the horse armor. Um, and then, uh, you know, so, so you'll basically be able to craft that and melt that. That's pretty self-explanatory, just like the other stuff that you would craft, forge or cook or anything. Uh, you'll figure that. It is noted that you do have to get 20 logs. I, I forgot that, and it'll remind you every time. Uh, this horse event is incredibly important, though. Please read through this. Um, I showed you most of the stuff, but look, um, on the shop, you're going to be able to, um, you'll be able to get all of these. The godly horse token, if, if you're stuck at, especially like at six, seven, eight, nine tier, somewhere in there, and you get 50 fail counts by, by spending the 20 horseshoes, that's huge. It's going to basically, you know, put you up where you have a higher percent chance to get that next tier. I would take advantage of that. Uh, sometimes people get good or bad luck on it to get that next tier, but but go ahead and get that. And then I would get like the background and the horse title and all that fun stuff, right? So uh, it would be RPG, HF, buy, um, horse, back, ground. Uh, to buy that, an RPG, HF, uh, buy, horse, title. I mean, all those little fun things usually translate to quests too. So be active, hit that once a day, get in there, get those quests done and knock them out. Um, you know, you'll be able to, to spend 10 of these and get some arena cookies. I don't know that that's a great bargain, to be honest. Um, I, I'm going to try to get the max on the sleepy potions, which I will max out on there. I've already bought the loot box, the Omega. Um, I don't know that I'll get the cookies. I, I think it depends you know they were talking about being able to buy sleepy with epic coins at some point so so i kind of like to keep the epic coins i may spin that out on that i'm not sure don't get the stat boost it goes away when you time travel not worth totally not worth um you know so so we'll see i probably will uh i'll probably do that well it's only 10 epic coins so yeah i'll be out of that i'll buy the epic coins i'll finish the sleepies i got the omega and to be honest, 
I will probably knock out the 10 cookies too because you can only, that's the max of 10, it's 100 horseshoes. So yeah, I'll probably knock out all these and then spend the rest on edgies and see what I get. I have a feeling we'll be buying wooden logs with the remainder, but you know, that's the way it is. So so definitely get in there, definitely look at these. Oh, oh, where's my boy at? Where is he at? Um, so get in here and take a look at these commands, look at Horse Festival, um, look in the shop, learn the recipes, do the quest. Let me let me show you that. So um, well, I showed you the quest. I meant to show you tasks, right? So uh, are you the Kermit? Uh, he's basically, that's our command for you can take over farms. So I got to let him know that I saw it and then uh, give him some fight and Pepe right there. And then let's go, right? So um, so yeah, Komoko is Kitsune Master. You see him on all the all the tops so like i can tell you what uh, top worker um he farmed forever and then ended up at like the number nine spot at 109 uh, which is crazy like this I, I don't know that you can really appreciate how high level 114 is until you get to like 103 104 and it takes forever to advance so so you guys are hyperactive on here so uh, let me go back to showing you the task though um if you go in here um, do these because daily you get a golden horseshoe and then you get 20 of the horseshoes this week's mini boss is ex exceedingly um unsettling right so um i'm tt and at such a high rate time traveling at such a high rate that i use every single one of my dungeons to advance so i'm not gonna stop and do three mini bosses which prevent me from level uh, you know doing the higher dungeons in order to get basically 80 of these to get one sleepy potion so i gotta forego these uh, these awards in order to just continue my pace if not i'm gonna get knocked off the top 15 so so a little bit of a fail i would say on that from the devs in in, in you know in counting for that so there we go uh let's knock out some of our uh, our stuff here so so you'll notice that i am using uh, macros to put text on the screen that is legal um you can do that you just cannot have a program that auto enters for you um it's not cheating so so take note of that find you a macro place them on there but be very very careful because they are not playing around i know people that use macros and and don't pay attention and, and slam it and then go back to whatever game they're playing if the epic guard pops up and you fail that you will go to jail you go to jail too many times they will ban you for 24 hours and if you do it again they will ban you for 72 hours and i don't even want to know what comes after that so so if you are cheating you you will be caught i'm just going to tell you right now um and they are not uh, uh playing around which which i love and i'll tell you why i love that because i have basically uh hand typed and <laughs> Womp womp. Um, I have done all this by hand, and so to know that I'm possibly being beat or passed up on on rankings because people are using auto clickers on here um, to do the full macro all the way through. Um, if you're doing that, man, I'm telling you right now, you you will get caught on there. Uh, they are not they're not fooling around. So anyway, I hope that showed the update on the time travel for 82, the horse event, why it's important. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, put it in the comments.